the United States government established the Strategic Defense Initiative Organization during the late stages of the Cold War, created to render intercontinental atomic warfare obsolete amidst the rising nuclear tensions the organization sought to create a protective shield that negated an enemy's first strike advantage. While the organization was active, several revolutionary concepts were studied, including brilliant pebbles. Conceived as part of a pre-existing concept, the brilliant pebbles were small, maneuverable, rocket-powered, laser-equipped vehicle systems that were able to detect, track, and intercept enemy ballistic missiles when placed in orbit. The idea was to send thousands of pebbles to circle the planet, ready to make an appearance at a moment's notice. When necessary, the tiny missile interceptors would destroy their prey by smashing into them. Most experts believed the project was too good to be true, but it soon became the main focus of the entire organization responsible for developing strategic defenses. Not even budget cuts would prevent the brilliant pebbles from beginning trials in 1990 and proving everyone wrong. Star Wars. In the early 1980s, Allied strategic analysts began speculating that the Soviet Union would soon achieve nuclear supremacy. If true, Russia would become capable of crippling the United States' strategic retaliatory forces and still have enough nuclear weapons left to destroy entire cities. As a result, the Joint Chiefs of Staff working for President Ronald Reagan recommended placing more emphasis on their missile defense strategies. A vocal critic of the Mutually Assured Destruction Doctrine, Reagan soon announced the launch of an expanded research and development program on live television on March 23, 1983. During his speech, the president called upon American scientists and engineers to create a system that would render nuclear weapons obsolete. Moreover, the Strategic Defense Initiative Organization, or SDIO, was officially established a year later, after lengthy technical studies. First led by Lieutenant General James A. Abrahamson of the Air Force, the organization, nicknamed Star Wars, was set up to protect the United States from attack by ballistic strategic nuclear weapons. One of the initial projects was Project Excalibur, proposed by Lowell Wood and Edward Teller of the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. The weapon used an X-ray laser driven by a nuclear warhead that could simultaneously attack dozens of intercontinental ballistic missiles. However, it was abandoned in 1986 after several failed tests. After that experience, the duo decided to further the smart rocket concept. Proposed by Daniel O. Graham, the weapon used large battle stations with powerful sensors that carried dozens of small rock-like missiles. With a minimum of 423 stations needed to keep enough missiles above the Soviet Union at all times, the project had many critics, including the Air Force and Teller himself, who dismissed the concept as outlandish and vulnerable to attacks. According to the theoretical physicist, his take on the project was not only clever, but brilliant. Brilliant Pebbles Designed in 1987 by Lowell Wood and signed off by Teller, the Brilliant Pebbles Ballistic Missile Defense System needed a constellation of pebbles and nothing more. The system consisted of thousands of small missiles, similar to conventional heat-seeking ones, that would be placed in orbits so that hundreds of them could be above the Soviet Union at all times. In the case of a Russian ICBM fleet launch, the Brilliant Pebbles would detect the rocket motors due to infrared seekers and then collide directly with them. According to a New York Times article, quote, Speeding through space a few hundred miles above Earth, a pebble would need only a nudge from its engines to send it hurtling towards a rising missile. Because the pebbles would strike the ICBM before it could release its warheads, each rock could destroy several warheads with a single shot. Compact and intelligent, the pebbles would only be three feet long and weigh around 100 pounds, with their brain power housed in a silicon chip as a supercomputer. According to Wood, the state-of-the-art technology used in the Pebbles would make them so smart that they would be able to perform their mission without external supervision, a significant novelty in the mid-1980s. During peacetime, each Pebble would be housed in a protective life jacket, 
charged by solar-powered panels to keep it ready whenever needed. The brilliant Pebbles proposal's main idea was to sow space with between 10,000 to 100,000 pebbles. With a price tag of around $100,000 each, it would be fairly inexpensive to orbit the entire constellation. Defying gravity. In 1987, the American Physical Society published a report stating that none of the weapons being studied by the SDIO were remotely ready for use, and would mostly need at least another decade of research. By then, the Brilliant Pebbles concept had been refocused, and now used small orbiting missiles, similar to conventional air-to-air -air missiles. This process was expected to be much less expensive to develop and deploy. At the same time, the Brilliant Pebbles became the main design proposal of the entire project in 1990. As the crowning achievement of the Strategic Defense Initiative, it was soon ordered into production. According to then-Vice President Dan Quayle, the Brilliant Pebble system could revolutionize American strategic defense. However, numerous experts criticized the level of attention given to such a relatively new idea, and many believed it to be doomed, like many older Star Wars concepts. Even so, Army Major William O'Connell, an SDIO spokesman, stated that 12 Brilliant Pebbles flight tests eight suborbital and four orbital had been scheduled from 1990 to 1993. Assuming that the system successfully completed the entire cycle tests, full-scale development could begin right after, with production starting as early as 1996. Brilliant no more. The first Brilliant Pebbles test was carried out on August 25th, 1990. During the trial, the explosive bolts that were supposed to separate the rocket fired much earlier than planned, causing the fairing to flip over to one side and pull the pebble partially out of the airframe. The second test happened on April 17, 1991. During that exercise, the system did not pick up on the target, and all subsequent movements were delayed and much less accurate. The third and final tests took place on October 22, 1992. You, using a miniaturized prototype closer to what a production model would look like, the device began to break down only 17 seconds after liftoff. The model had to be destroyed by a safety officer as several pieces kept falling off the booster. While Brilliant Pebbles was modified, the changes increased the price exponentially, and the cost for 4,600 Pebbles had ballooned to an alarming $55 billion. By then, the Soviet Union had already collapsed and the mighty red enemy was no more. New Life Soon after taking office in January of 1993, President Bill Clinton's new Secretary of Defense, Les Aspen, initiated the downgrading of the Pebbles system, beginning with a budget cut from 100 to 75 million. After that, the US Congress continually fought over the project's promise and future. However, when the SDIO was officially shut down by Clinton that same year, the Brilliant Pebbles project was officially over. Also, SDIO was replaced by the Ballistic Missile Defense Organization, which put more emphasis on regional rather than national missile defense. Nevertheless, space-based interceptor development was resumed almost 30 years later. With President Donald Trump's signing of the National Defense Authorization Act, the Space Development Agency now manages the program. As part of the new National Defense Space Architecture, early development contracts were awarded to L3 Harris and SpaceX. At the time of its revival, CIA Director Mike Pompeo called for additional funding to finally develop a full-fledged strategic defense for our times. It is called SDI-2. Thank you for watching Dark Tech. If you enjoyed our video about the brilliant pebbles, please hit the like button and share it with a friend who might enjoy it. And for stories about technological developments and historical battles, subscribe to all our Dark Documentaries channels, where we publish regularly. Stay tuned.